Hi, in this one I'm going to take uh, what's basically a visual tour of Mint 12. Uh, the RC has been released, so I have had the opportunity to run it on a virtual machine. You could install it, but it's kind of buggy, so we'll just settle for the virtual machine for now. And we'll take a look at it. I have started Mint and this is how the login screen looks. Uh, on the top to the right, we have the power button, a clock, volume control and uh, universal access menu. So let's take a quick look at them. The power button has uh, suspend, hibernate or shutdown. The clock, when you click on it, uh, opens a calendar. The volume control. Uh, this is simply the volume control menu in GNOME uh, minus the uh, sound settings. A couple of things to mention about the universal access menu here. First, it's stripped. It doesn't have the other options like uh, using large text or zooming or uh, uh, screen reader. It just ha gives you the option to use high contrast here. Once you log into GNOME in Mint, uh, you will not see the universal access uh, menu icon on the top bar. It has been removed from there. So uh, in order to change options to use large text or zoom in or uh, what have you, you'll have to open it from either the applications menu or uh, system settings. On the top left, uh, you'll see it says Mint 12. Uh, this actually displays your host name. I just happen to have named my system uh, Mint 12. So whatever you name your machine, uh, it's going to be displayed here. Um, here, Mint comes with a couple of environments. That's Gnome, Gnome Classic, Gnome Classic with no effects, and Mate. Uh, first, we'll take a look at Mate. Mate is basically a, a fork of GNOME 2 which branched after GNOME 3 was released. So we'll look at it first. So I'll select Mate and login. I don't think there is a need for commentary so uh, I'll mainly take a visual tour. Let's take a quick look at uh, non-classic, shall we? Non-classic. 
put in my password there we are 